Jackson, featherweights. There's the tail of the tape. 128 pounds for Jackson, 126 and a quarter for Alvin Gonzalez. Gonzalez with a one-inch reach advantage. Their records in the ring, Tyrone Jackson, 23 years of age. He's two years a pro. Gonzalez is in his fourth year as a pro and has had 19 fights to 16 for Jackson. You see Jackson is unbeaten in his 16 bouts, while Gonzalez is 14 and 5. For the introductions to the ring announcer, Hank Kropinski. Ladies and gentlemen, change and referee for this contest, Zach Clayton. This bout, eight rounds. Introducing, in the red corner, wearing black trunks with the white trim, he weighs 128 pounds from Harlem, New York, Tyrone Jackson. And his opponent, in the blue corner, wearing white trunks with the black trim, he weighs 126 and one quarter pounds from Vega Alto, Puerto Rico, Elvin Gonzalez, Abram. Referee for this fight, Zach Clayton, and calls the fighters to the middle of the ring for their instructions. And as we listen to Zach, you do the same. Let's go, fellas, come on. Okay, you understand English? Yeah. Okay, just give me a good clean fight. I'm going to let you fight your fight. Come in out of the clinch, just protect yourself. Kick your hands down, come out fighting the belt. Good luck the Get that mouth in joint. Elvin Gonzalez and Tyrone Jackson, eight rounds, featherweight bout. Gonzalez 126 and a quarter. And uh, Tyrone Jackson on the left, 128 pounds from Harlem in New York. He's had 16 fights. He's won them all, 13 by knockout. Quite a record for 16 fights to have 13 knockouts in the featherweight division. Yeah, he must be a banger. We'll see very shortly if that's true or not. This will be eight rounds. In case you missed it, just completed the Ruben Munoz, Charlie Choo Choo Brown fight. And if you blink, you missed it. It only went minute and 32 seconds of the first round. Choo Choo Brown by a knockout. Tremendous right hand power on Choo Choo Brown. Now, uh, here we're back now. We're in. In this fight, we have the traditional uh, boxing trunks on. They look good, don't they? Yes, they do. It gets, uh, without belaboring the issue, getting back to Charlie Brown in the lightweight division. You've got uh, a number of opponents you can look at uh, Choo Choo Brown the gearing up for. Kenny Bogger, perhaps, or Livingston Bramble, or somewhere down the road, even the man that sits at the top, Ray Mancini. That's a tough division. He's got a big, uh, a big uh, job ahead of him. You know that. But I, 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 I firmly believe he can do it because he's, uh, he's got an awful lot of talent. And the thing that we, we, we realize tonight that he's always in shape. He's ready to go at no, any time. No question about it. The only thing I'm going to do is after tonight, I'm going to go find Choo Choo and say, look, you know, we prepared more for that fight in homework than we did for any other, and we didn't have to use anything. That's very true. This fight, featherweight bout, eight rounds. Tyrone Jackson in the black trunks and Elvin Gonzalez in the white. Well, it's starting off very slowly, but you can never tell. Some fights start slowly and wind up pretty, pretty fast and hectic, but here we go. Elvin Gonzalez has uh, a couple of things on his mind in addition to Tyrone Jackson. The fact that uh, Elvin's wife is expecting a baby. Well, oh, that's a little disconcer disconcerting. Particularly the Mrs. Gonzalez. <laughs> <laughs> Round one action, scheduled eight rounder. Well, they're in the feeling out process right now. It seems to be a little, not too much action, but we'll see what happens here in a moment. Gonzalez 126 and a quarter and Tyrone Jackson is 128. We come to 30 seconds before the end of round one. Jackson has good delivery on the inside. He's not just a headhunter. He goes to the inside, then he comes up to the head. A couple of wild swings. 15 seconds to the end of the first round. Jackson seems to favor those left and right uppercuts to the midsection. Last few seconds of round number one. And he's hurt! And he's down! Five, six, seven, eight. I 
Zach Clayton get up to the count of five. And there's the bell, and that ends that round. And that was really hit. He was hit in the back of the head, but the first two punches prior to that really did the damage. Second round of the scheduled eight rounder. Gonzalez in the white trunks. Tyrone Jackson in the black. Gonzalez seems to have weathered the storm now, and he's he's a little shy, however. He seems off balance. Yeah, I was just going to say, yeah. uh, ironic, I was just going to say that he threw the punch and he was off balance. Well, the thing that I see why it makes him off balance is that he's entirely too far spread apart with his legs. He ought to kind of shorten up on that, uh, on that spread with his legs and he'd be better off he's off balance as you can see gonzalez he doesn't bleeding. want to fight anymore i think he's, he's i don't know what he's complaining about something i don't know what but he's well, bleeding from the nose he's complaining i don't think he really wants to fight good right hand over the top and they come back briefly by gonzalez come on up there, gonzalez. zach clayton the referee telling gonzalez to come up i tell you jackson He's right in there with the inside body punching. Good left by Jackson. Another good left stuns Gonzalez. Legs a little shaky right now. And uh, you can tell that because he's backtracking. That was not a bad left hook he threw, though. Maybe he ought to throw a few more of them. This is the second round. Minute 23 to go in the second round. Tremendous Jackson right uppercut. up underneath. Tremendous right uppercuts by Jackson, and they all scored. Another left by Jackson. Gonzalez bleeding from the nose. And a little by at the mouth also. Instead of backing off just a little bit, he seems to want, he's craving that action on the inside. Under a minute to go in the second round. Scheduled eight-rounder. Jackson's being caught now. I'm sorry. Uh, Gonzalez is being caught now by the left and right. His mouthpiece is showing. He's bleeding at the mouth and also at the nose. Coming up to 20 seconds before the end of the second round. Wild right by Jackson. Uh, Jackson. Gonzalez trying to twist him around and put him in the corner. Uh, Jackson's a better fighter than that. He doesn't really have to go that wild, Howard. Ten seconds to the end of round number two. This is a scheduled eight-round battle in the featherweight division. Elvin Gonzalez and Tyrone Jackson. Follow Elvin Gonzalez into his corner from Puerto Rico. Came into this bout with a record of 14 and 5. He turned pro in 1979. Two years sooner than Tyrone Jackson, his opponent. This is from the middle of round number two. And those that inside uppercuts has three in the row, and they all landed, and that's what started the bleeding in Gonzalez's mouth. And Gonzalez, instead of backing off, he just seems to want to stay in there. His best bet was to be to be on the outside. Tyrone did a good job of slipping those punches. So far, all of them. Now, in the first round of this bout, Elvin Gonzalez was down on the canvas. Here, more second round action. Oh, that wasn't a bad combination by Gonzalez. The left uppercut and the right cross did land. Round number three of the scheduled eight rounder between Elvin Gonzalez in the white trunks, Tyrone Jackson in the black trunks. Tyrone Jackson seems very calm and deliberate. Let's go, We're going to check. Gonzalez is backtracking. But delivered a very, very nice jab that connected two and three of them at a time. We just tuned our way. The two 10 rounders on the card tonight ended in opposite fashion. Johnny Verderosa from Staten Island, New York. A unanimous decision over Carlos Amaya in 10 rounds. 
And in the first round, at 132 of the first round, Charlie Choo Choo Brown registering a knockout over Ruben Munoz. That was a very, very good style side step on the part of Tyrone. He feigned it with a left uppercut, stepped to the side, then threw that hook. Very well delivered. Gonzalez missing with the right. getting himself out of trouble. He didn't want to be pinned up against the ropes. I kind of think that Jackson, if he did, if became a little more active, did a little more jabbing, he seems to be shy of action. He's not really going at it. He's got a beautiful jab when he delivers it. Zach Clayton is the right kind of a referee for this fight between two youngsters. Jackson was complaining of a low blow there. He tried to get the eye of Zach Clayton. But it really wasn't that low at all. Gonzalez didn't get the full effects of that last overhead right by Tyro Jackson. Gonzalez seems to be coming on now with pretty good jabs. Under a minute remaining in round number three of the scheduled eight-round featherweight bout. Body punch by Tyro Jackson in the black trunks. And we could really hear them down there, couldn't we? Yeah. Overhead right by Jackson staggers Gonzalez. That's the same thing that happened earlier, but that overhand right seems to glance off the top of his head and it seems to just throw his equilibrium off. It throws him off balance. 25 seconds for the end of round three, scheduled eight rounder. Jackson delivers a great right uppercut from that left jab. That combination is a great combination. Less than 10 seconds to go in the round. This is round three. Eight round featherweight bout. Elvin Gonzalez and Tyrone Jackson. Now for an analysis of this fight thus far, let's go to Dick Landis. Okay, Howard, thanks very much. Uh, Tyrone Jackson, you are looking at a talent. He is 16-0. and 0, Not too well known because he's fought mostly in New York. He says he picks his punches. He makes them count. As you notice, he has a very good right hand. However, the right hand has a tendency to drift. It is a little uncontrolled. If he shortens it up, makes it hit more, makes it score more, he's going to be a devastating fighter. He's got a great, great potential going for him. Gentlemen? Thanks, Dick. Well done. Very good, Dick. That's right. I think he can show a lot more. I think he ought to stop moving, though, in this fight. Start showing what, what you analyze. That's right. Looking into the corner of one Tyrone Jackson from New York City in the Harlem section of Manhattan, which has, over the years, bred many outstanding fighters like Sugar Ray Robinson and many others. Uh, Sugar Ray. You can stop there. Yeah, yeah that's the it. best. You go pound for pound, etc., etc. The best of all time in many people's minds and opinions. Fourth round action. Eight round featherweight bout. Tyrone Gonzalez, or rather Elvin Gonzalez and Tyrone Jackson. <laughs> Gonzalez from Deja Alto, Puerto Rico. Well, am I glad I took Spanish in high school? Hey, you sound good. You're you close. Like a Spanish teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I failed. Gonzalez seems like, at this point in time, he's uh, kind of upset, frustrated, whereas Tyrone Jackson looks very calm, cool, and collected. Tyrone Jackson looks all business out there. Very determined look on his face. Good concentration. Notice every once in a while, Zach Clayton walks by the two fighters and gives them some kind of encouragement. Yeah, he gives them a little pep talk. Might be the, Zach Clayton might very well be the fan's referee. <laughs> He's playing to the crowd. 
Gonzalez with a good right momentarily. Misses one, now comes back with a good right. It seems to me that Jackson, each time he throws that right hand over the right ear of Gonzalez, or the left ear, he seems to hurt him. I don't know what it is, but three times he did that. You notice it again. Quick hands. I think what he ought to do is perhaps keep that left hand a little higher. Gonzalez ought to keep it a little higher, protecting that side of his head. He seems to have a, a weakness on that side. Elvin Gonzalez almost slapping at Tyrone Jackson. 45 seconds to the end of the fourth round of this eight-round scheduled eight-round featherweight fight. Gonzalez seems to have just a little bit of red lump under the right eye. Nothing to be concerned about, but he does have it there. Good right by Gonzalez that reddens the nose of Tyrone Jackson. Yeah, but it had really no power at all. Yeah, the blood seems to be more in evidence on than under the nose of Elvin Gonzalez. Good left by Gonzalez to the side of the head. Ten seconds to the end of the fourth round. Gonzalez slipping in the corner. That wet spot still exists, apparently. Yeah, they ought to dry those wet spots. We follow Elvin Gonzalez back to his corner. In between the fourth and the fifth round. All right, here's some action of the fourth round as you see Gonzalez registering some blows. Yeah, that was a pretty good shot right over the right ear again of Tyrone Jackson. And Jackson did the right thing, came on the inside and held. Very, very good left hook on the part of Gonzalez. You ought to keep up more of this because uh, it's a long way for him to go and he better start scoring. Elvin Gonzalez a little bit ready, maybe ready too soon. This is the fifth round of the scheduled eight-rounder in the featherweight division. Elvin Gonzalez and Tyrone Jackson earlier tonight in our co-features. Ten-rounders, Johnny Verderosa of New York defeated Carlos Amaya in a unanimous decision. And Charlie Choo Choo Brown registering a first-round knockout over Ruben Munoz. All right, now we have an awful lot of action on the part of Gonzalez moving to the left and right. And also kind of retreating with Jackson continuing to push the fight. In some parts of the, uh, of the world and the country, they are using a kind of a box, Howard, that they have arranged to slide in the ring so that the water, when poured on the fighters, would enter this box and then they remove the box at the end of the round, which is not a very bad idea because in this particular instance, uh, Zach Clayton went over and asked for some rosin and put the rosin in the corner. There was a little too much in there and they got on the towel of the fighter or the, the trainer using the towel and Zach very wisely went over and said don't use the end of that towel because it has rosin on it. And rosin, you know, has a blinding quality. I'm going to put you on the spot. Of all the fights you refereed, which was the fighter or fighters that gave you the most trouble? Uh, well, I would say the fighters who give the most trouble are the, uh, are the middle classes, the, the strong, fast, good, hard punches. The heavyweights are kind of pushy cat guys. You tell them to break and they break. But it's the, uh, it's the lightweight, welterweight, and middleweight that push you on the side and they're very, very anxious to get in there and get the job done. But heavyweights will listen to all commands, really. True. We are in the fifth round of the scheduled eight-rounder. Tyrone Jackson in the black trunks. Elvin Gonzalez in the white trunks. Zach Clayton encouraging the two fighters to get in there and mix it up a little bit. Less than a minute to go in the round. Good left by Jackson. Jackson and a right. Jackson has 13 KOs to his credit, but I, I really don't see that spontaneous power of his yet. Unless he's waiting to show us later. It's almost like he stands right, back and Gonzalez. tees off, and uh, Gonzalez 
Now, Gonzalez is complaining of a shoulder injury. It seems that his left shoulder near the clavicle seems to be hurting, and he's holding it, and it's all over. Makes good. Stop it. He can't go anymore. He hurt his left arm. Up near the collarbone, you're right. <coughs> Really, it was really uh, no point there in counting because he complained immediately. He went down on one knee and he complained about his show and it could be a broken clavicle. No, oh, he's hurting. No question about it. 2.33 of the fifth round. That man, Tyrone Jackson, is the winner. His 17th consecutive victory without a defeat. Yeah, he's, he can't pick up his left arm. Yeah, he's, he's hurting. He's in awful lot of pain there. Well, the doctor, Frank Doggart, is over there checking him out. It's either in the ball and socket joint of the arm or it's in that clavicle because uh, if we could get a close shot to kind of see how that happened, it would be interesting. All right, there's Tyrone Jackson through a right hand and the left hand and connected. That was it, and right there, right that there, was just it. as he threw his left hand. He threw, uh, yes, Gonzalez threw the left hook, and it didn't kind of land, and uh, it just probably went out of out of joint, the ball and socket. And we'll see it again. We'll see him throw that left hook, and you'll see him... Yeah, I'd like to see it know, more wins. closely. He threw right, it right there, right there. He, he, that connected. Was, he connected with Jackson. That was the point right there. You really didn't have to count him out because he was complaining right from the beginning. He turned his around. He went down on one knee, and he just didn't, couldn't go on anymore. For the official announcement, to Hank Rupinski. The time, 2 minutes, 33 seconds of the fifth round. Referee Zach Clayton stops the contest. The winner by a technical knockout, Tyrone Jackson. Tyrone Jackson is our winner. TKO at 233 of the fifth round. Jackson now 17 wins, no defeats. Gonzalez's record drops to 14 wins and six defeats.